Hello, and welcome to the demonstration of acquiring data over Ethernet with an E1608 and DACAME 1.1. The E1608 offers four differential or eight single-ended analog inputs, sample rates up to 250 kilosamples per second, two 16-bit analog outputs, 8-bit configurable digital I.O., and a 32-bit event counter input. The E1608 is supported by the following MCC DAC software products. Instacal Installation, Configuration, and Testing Utility, the Universal Library Programming API for Windows, and the UL for Android Programming API for Android devices, ULX for NI LabVIEW drivers for MCC DAC devices, and TracerDAC for acquiring, analyzing, displaying, and generating signals. Instacal, the UL and UL for Android, ULX for NI LabVIEW, and TracerDAC are available on the MCC DAC software CD, and also as free downloads from mccdac.com software. The E1608 is also supported by TracerDAC Pro, a professional version of TracerDAC with added features, DACAME, an advanced data logger application for acquiring, viewing, and logging data, and Daisy Lab, which is icon-based data acquisition, graphics, control, and analysis software. TracerDAC Pro, DACAME, and Daisy Lab are available as purchase downloads from their respective product pages. The E1608 uses TCP IP and UDP for network communication. The device gets auto-detected on local networks with dynamic host configuration protocol enabled and on PCs with link local enabled. These protocols automatically assign a network IP address to Ethernet devices. Device detection over wide area networks, such as the Internet, requires manual configuration of the IP address and other network settings. This demonstration assumes that the E1608 will be automatically detected. Information on manually configuring a device is provided later in this video. Connect your device and record the MAC address found on the label on the bottom of the E1608 case. For this demonstration, we're going to use DACAME 1.1 to acquire data from the E1608. Launch DACAME and click New Configuration in the Getting Started dialog box. Next, click Manual in the New Configuration Options dialog box and wait while DACAME loads an empty configuration. Click the Add Device button, click on the Hardware tab, and then click on the Network Device icon. DACAME searches for devices connected to the network. Detected devices should display in the Add Network Devices dialog box. If no devices display the first time, make sure Automatic is selected in the Connection Type list and click the Refresh Network Devices icon to repeat the search. Once a list of detected network devices displays, select one with a matching MAC address and click OK to add it to the Hardware tab. Then, drag the E1608 from the Hardware tab to the Device panel for use in the DACAME acquisition. By default, the E1608 is configured for differential measurements. For this demonstration, the E1608 is measuring signals in a single-ended configuration. To change from differential to single-ended measurements, select Single-ended from the Channel Mode list in the Device tab and click Yes on the Warning dialog box. DACAME needs a few seconds to make this configuration change. Next, click on the Input Channels tab and click the Active checkbox for channels 0 through 3. Now I'm going to click on the Acquisition tab to set the sample count to 10,000. With the sample rate set to 1,000, the acquisition will run for 10 seconds in order to acquire 10,000 samples. DACAME is now configured to acquire data from the four channels, but you need to add the displays in order to see the data. First, I'm going to add a scalar display to the display panel and add all four channels to this display. A scalar display shows the numeric value of each sample. Next, I'm going to add a strip display and add channels 0 and 1. The strip display continually plots each sample as it is acquired. Now I'll add a block display and add channels 2 and 3. The block display shows a set number or block of samples. To start the acquisition, click the Start button. The voltage values from channels 0 through 3 are shown on the scalar display and are also plotted on the strip and block displays. Once the acquisition stops, I can use DACAME to export the acquired data so it can be used in a spreadsheet for further analysis and distribution. Click on the gear icon in the top right of the DACAME window and select Export Data. Use the default folder and file name or change it to another folder and file. I've created a folder on the desktop for my data files. Once the location and name of the data file is set, click Export to File. 
You can open the .csv file with a spreadsheet application such as Microsoft Excel to perform additional analysis and graphing of the data. In most cases, you will be connecting the E1608 to local networks that dynamically assign an IP address, eliminating the need to configure the device for the network. However, to install the E1608 on a network without DHCP, such as a remote network like the Internet, the E1608 must be manually configured. This network configuration can be performed with InstaCal. Once the E1608 is properly configured in InstaCal, close InstaCal, run DACME, and select Manual in the Add Network Devices dialog box and enter the network settings that were configured up for the device. Measurement Computing recommends that this configuration be performed by a network administrator or computer professional with network experience. For more information on the E1608 and other Ethernet product offerings from MCC, visit mccdaq.com/ethernet. Thanks for watching.